was good youtube it's your boy brian with men is more detailing thank you guys for watching this video here make sure you guys like comment share and subscribe today's gonna be another legendary video with, with another detailer these are my clients but we're gonna go ahead and use this detailer setup to get these jobs done to show you guys that you know you can get it done no matter what setup you have and stuff like that so if Raing actually just bought his generator and water tank and stuff like that it's still not fully um like professionally prepped and stuff like that if you want to say but it is workable so we're gonna go ahead and work with that um push it back a little bit bro yeah like right like right here in the center so we're gonna go ahead and detail out his mitsubishi outlander um like i said he just bought a generator just bought a water tank he's been had the vacuum pressure washer all that good stuff so we're gonna use his stuff detail these two cars behind me so we have a honda civic si and then we're going to detail this acura i believe mdx and yeah there's just maintenance washes and details so we're going to go ahead and knock this out all right yeah, friends so i see you have the predator right here big boy big body we have the water tank right there so we're actually going to go ahead and connect this to the water uh source at the client's house here and we're going to go ahead and fill up that water tank as we do the interior so this doesn't stop like mine so we do got to pay attention to it because yeah. we don't want it to overfill and your whole you know van is flooded so we got to make sure we put a timer on the phone or something you know to make sure we're keeping an eye on that so right now it's kind of your stuff so you let me know man we're going to start with the interior first mm. so if you want i'll go ahead and plug that hose in for you and then mm. i'll catch up with you guys in a second once we're all ready to go so when i first got started you guys before i had the transit connect i had a water tank like this and i didn't have the quick disconnect all that fancy stuff that routers details install for me so this was literally the same way that i'm gonna do it this is the same way that i you know filled up my water tank so we have the water hose connected to our client's water spigot over there we're just gonna go ahead and press this let me do it over here off camera we're gonna click this right and this has an on and off switch right here so we're gonna turn it on so now it's on we're gonna press this button here and then we're gonna lock this into place mm -hmm. right so it's always gonna be filling up with water so take that off. So I like to turn this on because I don't want it to spray me. And then I'll go ahead and lock it first. Just throw it right here in the top. Put the water, throw it in there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and say, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. All right, so we have a timer right now for 10 minutes. Um, hopefully it doesn't fill up all the way in 10 minutes, but if it does, then even better. It is a pretty small tank but it's still good enough. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on the generator, um, set up the vacuum, and then we're gonna start vacuuming the inside of the MBX. All right, you guys, so I was just telling Efrain that since his generator is still brand new, we're not gonna use it. He needs to do a, uh, some oil. He needs to put some oil and stuff like that and kind of prep it and let it run for a few minutes or hours to be sure that it's running smooth. So we're not gonna utilize it right now. Luckily, we have access to both water and electricity here at the client's house. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and use for now. So we're gonna go ahead and connect the electric outlet to the water, uh, to the client's outlet. And then we have the water connected as well. So we're gonna go ahead and start vacuuming the interior. And this car is not too bad. Let me just quickly show y'all. I'm not trying to make this like a detailing video. I'm just trying to show you guys that it's possible to do details without a fancy setup. So this car is not bad at all, you guys. Like these maintenances are super clutch, super love. Charging 100 for this one and 80 for that one. So we got 180 here for both of these cars. So, and it shouldn't take us too long because, yeah, it shouldn't take us too long. Probably like 10, 30, maybe 11 for both of these. So yeah, let's get, let's get, let's get it going, man. Let's go. All right, Efrain, I see you're detailing the door panel there. What, what's your strategy? Uh, what chemicals are you using? And what what are your steps to, to detailing and stuff well, like that? I'm using um, 3D all-purpose cleaner. Okay. And I'm doing brushing it down with the all-purpose cleaner. Then after I wipe it down, I use a 303 protective. Okay, okay. To get rid of shine and that's it. I'll move on to the next. All right, so right now I'm vacuuming. I'm gonna keep on vacuuming here as he's detailing the door panel. All right, so if I one quick question, bro. Once what's you're up? once you're done that door, what what's the next step? Where are you going after that? This. So you're going from, you're, from this panel to the door half of the, the 
the dash, steering wheel and stuff. Yeah, steering wheel dash, glove compartment, and, all that. and then I move to the other side, to the passenger side. Okay. And then I go to the back. Okay, so you're gonna go do the front half first, mm -hmm. including the passenger side, and then you'll go work on the back. Yeah, all the way to the front. Okay. All right, perfect, man. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. Back. I'll catch up with you in a bit once I'm done vacuuming and see where we are. All right, too. So we just got done passing the vacuum on both vehicles, the Honda Civic Si and the uh, Acura MDX right behind me. So I wanted to stop the uh, vacuum detailing process real quick, just to emphasize on staying clean and staying organized while you're detailing, right? Now, <clears throat> with a setup like this one where everything is not, you know, kind of like built in and drilled and everything is just kind of staying there, um, there's parts coming out the vehicle, right? in and out the vehicle so it's going to be some disorganization of course it's going to be stuff laying around so it's very important that you try your best try i mean you know try as much as possible to keep the area as clean as possible not only for your safety but also the client safety anybody trying to pull up on you trying to ask you what you're doing and stuff like that so right now we have the gas tank out it shouldn't be out because we're not using that we have the buckets right there we can probably get away with leaving that out um I don't think that should even be out and neither should that because there's nothing that we can't even use that with all these rocks and stuff like that and this also should not be out because now the tank is full you could go ahead and turn it off disconnect it sit it back in the vehicle as well as the gas that little chair thingy and this towel cabinet there um and the vacuum of course is going back in the van because it's done right i'd rather like try to keep it clean now as opposed to cleaning everything all at once at the end. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm kind of just a little OCD about stuff like that. I don't know why, but it's just kind of like, you know, like it just doesn't look, per, I guess, professional in a way. So this is how it looks now. I'm gonna clean this up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards so you can see what I mean. All right, you guys. So we put everything back in the vehicle. This is how everything looks. Looks a lot better, right? So we left the bucket top because we're actually gonna start washing the mdx here as he's finishing detailing so we're gonna leave those buckets out but i wanted to quickly check if ryan's work so so one thing about me you guys is i'm not i'm not the most like professional or perfectionist detailer um i just know that i've had i have a few years of experience and with experience comes a lot of mistakes and a lot of learning. So I want to pass my knowledge on, I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I want to pass my knowledge on to Efrain so that way he avoids the mistakes that I made. That way it helps him save time, make more money and be more efficient and effective, right? So we're also trying to get him a lot of good start, uh, five-star reviews. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and check behind him, check his work, point out a few things that he might've mixed, uh, missed and just try to help him, you know, have a better eye and have that detail eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and check his work and you guys are gonna see with me. I'm not trying to bash it, Frank. I'm not trying to, and he knows that. I'm not trying to, you know, come at him in any way. I'm not the know-it-all type of person. I just know, like I said, with my experience, I've made a lot of mistakes, you guys, and I've learned through them. So I wanna pass that on to him to help him save time, make more money, and be more efficient and effective with his detailing process. So we're gonna show you guys um, kind of little stuff that he missed and you can probably learn from these as well uh, Sit back relax and let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go. Are you too? So he actually started right here um, and he, The door looks pretty good. Honestly, I don't see anything wrong with the door um, Just like a little bit of dust in there. That's very minimal stuff, you know, making sure you pop these uh, Things up and check underneath and stuff like that. It seem to be good it's just the maintenance details was not terrible um one thing that i seen that he did miss was this area right here which is very you know easy to forget about is these like seat slider things right here and honestly this will take him like literally like one second to do all he gotta do is spray it wipe it down and he's done uh something else that i see here as well is right here this little area um like right there on the side now a way that i like to do that is by moving the seat you guys like it's the it's the best and easiest way instead of having trying to push your hand in there and stuff like that move the seat all the way forward and you'll have a lot easier access to the back 
So you guys can see right there, he can easily just spray it down, give it a wipe down, and he will be good to go. So that's so far what I've seen. I'm gonna push this back and I'm gonna just keep on looking and stuff like that. Like I said, this is a maintenance detail. He also doesn't have a compressor. A compressor would help him kind of get into between cracks and crevices a lot easier and faster. Uh, but you know, it's not needed or necessary. You can still get the job done. All right, so here he forgot his towel and he forgot his product, but he's over there. So maybe like working on trying to keep everything, <laughs> keep everything with you. <laughs> maybe work on keeping everything with you. It's a good time. Like I'm not coming at him, man. Like I'm really trying to help him be efficient. So he doesn't have a little bag. Like I, that's why I bought this bag, bro, because I like to just throw everything in there and I just move with it, you know? So maybe just try to, yeah, you know, I'm get a small bag. bag. Yeah, like a little toolbox bag. So he left his towel, well, towels. He left all these towels here and he yeah, left the, back for that. and then he left the spray bottle, right? So he said he's gonna come back for it, but that's saving, that's wasting your time having to walk around, bro. You know, Lily, he's coming for it now, but it's too late, man. It's too late. I already caught you slipping. Nah, I'm playing what with you. Again? All right, so. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. This car is like not terrible at all, you guys. This is an easy maintenance detail. Um, this is typically how we do the maintenance detail is just the wipe down, vacuum. We're not trying to get stains and, you know what I'm saying? Like we're just wiping stuff down. And that 3D product that he's using is actually working very good. I actually like it. So we're gonna go ahead and knock this one out. He's actually on the last door panel, which is right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and start detailing on the Civic because I kind of want to wash both of them at the same time. And that actually is, is 931. So both cars are vacuumed. This one's already detailed on the interior. So we're gonna go ahead and knock that interior out. And then we're gonna come back over here, do the wheels, both side, the wheels of course. Um, and then we'll jump to these wheels and then we'll just foam both down and he'll wash one, I'll wash one. And that's how we'll do this one here. So this car is also not terrible. Um, probably doesn't even need any brushing or anything like that. Just needs a good wipe. I already vacuumed this car out. So that's probably why there's no dust and stuff in here. Only thing we probably would need to brush for would probably be these cup holders and like in here and stuff like that. But besides that, it's not, it's not bad at all. It's not bad one bit. So catch you guys in a bit. All right, hey friends, so what we just did was wash both vehicles, right? Now, what, what do you think? You have the water tank set up now and the pressure, the pump, which is right here. How, how do you think it performed? Did you like how it did? Did you? No, it did pretty good. It was a little hiccup in the beginning, but we figured it out and we got it running. What was the hiccup? You want to explain to them what happened? The hiccup was that there wasn't enough water coming out of it at first. And I believe that we tied it. I tied it really good on the pump side and on the electric washer. The so pressure washer. Yeah, the pressure washer. So. so he has a little valve here that he can shut off, which we should do. So we shut it off, and then you open this up right there, and then he's got this connected to the pump, and the pump is connected to here. So we're going to bring it out just to show you guys a little bit better because I get questions about the water pump in the tank all the time, bro. Yeah. But from your experience setting it up, how, how was it? Was it hard to get set up? Was it difficult? No, it wasn't hard to set up. It was really simple, actually. It just that we had it tight, a little tight. Yeah, it was a little loose. You know? But we're going to so bring it out to show them kind of how simple and stuff like that it really is. 
and you guys will get to see like start to finish like kind of how it's connected in there. what i did was i put um so this is why it's all connected to my extension cord extra plug okay so with this right here i just need one plug to plug in and you plug all both right. at the same time smart yeah. smart so that's connected at the same time there we go got a hose connected to the picket from the picket all the way down to connect it to the pump and then from the pump Sorry, connect it sure. straight down to the pressure washer and then the then the gun okay connected. so this this does have a sign on top that kind of tells you kind of right there tells you outlet with the arrow so if you have a pump you want to make sure that that outlet is your hose for the pressure washer right you don't want to mix it up and have this the back you know the wrong way because you won't get what you're looking for so pay attention to this little arrow right there it's kind of hard to see it but it's right there and it's pointing out so it's mean it's trying to tell you hey water's going this way so in order to get water to go this way you needed to connect the water a hose here to the tank and you also need a two male yeah so the uh, different sweet. different attachments and different like yeah. connections was the hardest thing for me to find like for me because I, I at first i didn't do it with tony router's details help yeah. you know so i was just like okay let me see what i can find because these fittings and stuff like that for my pressure um my pump was different so i had to find a bigger connection here so it could fit the hose but anyway i want to keep it very simple for you guys to understand so the water tank didn't come with all these pieces did it no no oh, right it just so came with that little black piece this little black it. piece right here that's it so, so it comes with the tank that black piece and then you got to buy all these plumbing and stuff like that um at your local harbor freight or lowe's or, or wherever home, home depot is the best pricing and stuff like that so yeah and he has a little turn off valve which is very smart because you don't always want the water running through um at first we even tried to do it like a um what's the word like a free flow gravity gravity fed yeah. um and right. since we are on a hill i i was expecting it to work but it doesn't work so i don't know how to to set up something like that you guys honestly but i do know how to set up the water pump and stuff like that because it's very simple and it's not as hard as you may think so we're gonna go ahead and finish detailing these two cars here we already washed them did the interior detail so we're gonna go ahead and put some tire shine on them clean up the door jams and then we'll do the glass and they'll be done so i'll catch you guys in a second here once we finish up and we'll end the video there anything you want to add man you want to give some people some motivation some some type of insight if they're looking to get started you know if what you i'm saying you want to get started the best thing to do is either take your time with the build because you honestly you don't need all this in the beginning you just need a couple of things and if you want to start big might as well get everything in one shot and go straight forward yeah that's if you have the funds if yeah, you have if the, you have the if, you have, if you have the funds because all this stuff gets very expensive you guys you might not think like oh like he has a generator he has a water tank how much did you pay for the water tank the water tank i paid 300 300 just for what is it 45 50, um, 50 gallons? gallons for a 50 gallon water tank you guys 300 bucks very like in my opinion it's very expensive because yeah. all you're doing is filling up with water like it's, mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying but it's very useful it's convenient so how much did you pay for the generator here um generator i put it on sale on harbor freight uh-huh and i paid 575 575 oh that's that, a deal and that coming with with the warranty year, one year nice warranty. You gotta get so, that warranty, you guys. Make yeah. sure you get your. It's four ninety nine. Your insurance. Um, it was four fifty six actually on sale. Okay. Regular price is four ninety nine. Okay, so man, you guys already see that's damn near already a thousand eight hundred bucks right there, just with these two big, you know, purchases: the vacuum, the, the vacuum. pressure washer, how, uh, holes, the pressure washer, mm -hmm. all the connections, you know, the products, the chemicals, the towels. The cabinet, I would say I got invested pricey. almost two thousand dollars. Almost two grand. That's not bad to start off, man. Mm -hmm. This is like the best business to start off with, like a lower, you know, starting base price because you know other businesses you need fifty thousand, you need a hundred thousand to get started. So man, being able to start move, with under three thousand, 
under you know five thousand under you can even start yeah, under yeah, 500 you guys yeah, you know because you don't you don't need all this stuff you can start off with 500 which is one of my most famous videos out there so if you haven't watched that up uh video Actually, check that video out i started you that's said how i started i started with 500 and yeah i was watching your video yeah what i'm trying to tell you you don't need much you don't need much you i know? got the pressure washer the vacuum the the rags and i have videos of that mm -hmm. so you know and you guys could check it out when we first met you had Sam's showed me the, right. the setup and stuff so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started or not get started get finished with these cars and yeah we'll end the video there man thank you guys for watching like comment share subscribe we'll catch you guys in the next one like the friday said take your time you guys be patient trust the process because you don't want to rush into things if you start rushing that's how you start making a lot of mistakes so Peace out, you guys. Follow Glister's Auto Spa on Instagram. Um, what's your Instagram handle? Is it Glister underscore or something yeah. like that? It's Glister underscore. No. It's Glister underscore auto underscore spot. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and tag it right here so you guys can follow him. Check him out. Peace out, you guys. Hustle never settle. Brian Felix out. Let's go.